Hello, reader, and thank you for coming to another vocabulary lesson. This week, our story is Planet Earth from Savas My View Literacy, Unit 5, Lesson 1 for 4th grade. Um, for each of our words this week, we're going to give the word a definition, a little explanation of it, um, a sentence from the text that shows how it was used, an illustration that kind of shows us what it looks like, some synonyms and antonyms as best as we can find, um, a think about it question that you can discuss with your partner or group, um, and we're going to have some related words for each. Finally, we are going to have some fill in the blank sentences at the end, which will also be in the description below, that you can use to see if you figured out what they actually mean. With all that said, let's get started. Our first word is mantle. Mantle is a noun, and it means the layer of earth between the crust and the core, which is exactly what we know here. In the text, it says, below us, our planet is composed of four main layers. The outer surface is called the crust. Beneath that are the mantle, outer core, and inner core. And here we see in the illustration here, we see the crust, the mantle, and this illustration put the core, middle, and inner core, and outer core together, but you can still see where the mantle is. Some synonyms, as best we could find, would be layer or covering or a shell. And um, antonyms would be core, center, or interior, because obviously it's not that. So the question would be, how does Earth's mantle help shape the surface of the planet over time? You may have to read the story to make sure you understand that question. Morphologically, the noun mantle is a Latin word meaning cloak or covering. In its basic form, mantle mean, refers to a covering or layer. Some examples would be the Earth's mantle lies beneath the crust, acting as a thick protective layer. In a figurative sense, mantle can describe a role or responsibility. The new principal took on the mantle of leadership with great dedication. Another word, our next word, is circulates. Circulates is a verb. It means move through a system. So when something circulates, it moves around in a path or flows through a system. And here I put our circulatory system, and we can see that our blood circulates and goes through our entire body, and that just shows how that looks. From the text, water on Earth circulates constantly through the water or hydrologic cycle. Some synonyms for circulates would be flows, moves, or spreads. Some antonyms might be stagnates or stagnates, stops, or remains still. What do you think? Why is it important for air to circulate inside a room? Morphologically, the verb circulates comes from the base word, base verb circulate, which is Latin, meaning to move in a circle. The suffix s is added to form the third person singular present tense verb. With an S, you could say blood circulates through the body, delivering oxygen to every cell. As past tense, you could say news circulated quickly around the school after the announcement. And as an imperative sentence, you could say, please circulate the flyers in your room. Our next word is adopted. Adopted could be a verb or an adjective, and it's started to use a selected idea or method. When something is adopted, it is taken in and made one's own. I think that's easier to understand. We can see here a picture of a family that adopted a little girl. They decided to take her in and make her one of their own. They decided to keep, keep her. Um, from the text, most areas have adopted these standard time zones. Some synonyms for adopted that mean the same would be accepted, embraced, or chosen. Some antonyms that mean the opposite would be rejected, dismissed, or abandoned. What do you think? What are some reasons why a person or group might adopt a new tradition? Again, you may pause it here if you'd like. Morphologically, the verb adopted comes from the base word verb adopt, meaning to take something in and make it one's own, with the suffix ed indicating past tense or a completed action. You could say, Past tense, the ver family adopted a puppy from the shelter last summer. Present tense, you could say she adopts creative ideas quickly during class discussions. You could also say it as a base form, we adopt new strategies to solve problems. 
You could put shun on the end, and the word becomes adoption. A noun meaning the act of adopting. The adoption of new technology improved the school's learning tools. And as an adjective, when describing a person, adopted could serve as an adjective, and you could say the adopted child felt loved in his new family. Our next word is abundant. Abundant is an adjective meaning plentiful or commonly occurring. If something is abundant, there is plenty of it or more than enough. And here we see an abundance of strawberries. Ooh, and some grapes too. From the text, oceans are one of Earth's most abundant resources. Some synonyms for abundant might be plentiful, bountiful, or overflowing. Some antonyms might be scarce, limited, or insufficient. What do you think? How does having abundant resources help a community thrive? Morphologically, the adjective abundant comes from the Latin um, abundare, meaning to overflow, with the suffix ent, which is, makes, turns it into an adjective, meaning characterized by or full of. As an adjective, you could say water is abundant in the rainforest, making it lush and green. If you add ents to the end, the word becomes abundance, a noun, meaning a very large quantity of something. There was an abundance of fresh fruit at the market. You could also say as an adjective, the garden was abundant with colorful flowers during spring. And our last word is molten. Molten is an adjective, means, which means melted or hot enough to be in liquid form. If something is molten, it has been melted by heat and is in liquid form. Here we see some metal that has been heated until it is in liquid form. In the text, it says, it is largely covered with ice, but it contains a lake of molten hot lava deep inside its crater. Some synonyms would be melted, liquefied, or hot. Some antonyms might be solid, frozen, or hardened. What do you think? What dangers might come from handling molten materials, and how can people stay safe? Morphologically, the adjective molten comes from the verb melt, meaning to liquefy with heat, and the suffix in, which forms the past participle used as an adjective. Molten means melted by heat and in a liquid state. As an adjective, you could say lava is molten rock that flows from a volcano during an eruption. Also, as a related verb, you could say the ice melts quickly in the warm sunlight. An additional adjective would be the factory workers carefully handled the molten steel using protective gear. And that was our last word. Of course, we have these fill in the blank that you can leave here on pause or you can copy from below in the description. And until next time, happy reading.